Hi Cancer, this is your reading for the 25th of May till the 31st of May 2020 and <coughs> excuse me, I've got some news as well for you so uh, hang on in there please and welcome back and thank you for being so loyal if you're a cyber angel for coming back and supporting the channel and sharing and liking the videos uh, the live sessions are absolutely phenomenal le of late even better it's like if it's getting better and better and it's really lovely and thank you for taking part and making the channel what it is you are part you are after all uh, making the channel exciting apart from the cards and the readings okay now um, if you are new welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live I give free cards but I also answer questions uh, and that are supported by a donation and that is a super chat or a super sticker if you would like a one-to-one -one reading uh, an extended reading uh, personally then please look beneath this video there you will find my website and my email address and the donation button but if you write an email then I'll answer you back as soon as possible and also you can um, in the top right hand corner um, you will find a little white circle I think that's about here um, and if you click on that it will take you through to the website I'll be updating the website this week with uh, more beautiful news and exciting news so keep an eye out on the website now what is exciting is, is that you can win a uh, uh, a deck, a brand new deck. Um, I'm waiting for it to arrive, but it will look like this the Shadowland Tarot. A very new deck. Um, I'm going to have a competition, so if you want to join in, to, in the competition, then you must be a member. So click on that button, subscribe. And there will also be this deck that will be given away um, to a winner. Now, I don't know yet whether I'm going to get give the option of choosing the deck because this one is used and the other one will be uh, new and will be pa packed in cellophane okay um, but um, I've, I'm going to um, I want to do something exciting so you and this is hardly used but I I do take care of my decks and you can get this deck for nothing look at that it's beautiful and voluptuous and a beautiful thick book to go with it and it's called the Vice of Thursday so if you want to have a chance at winning one of these then uh, please join our cyber family and become a member and keep the website um, an eye on the website because I'm putting that news out on the website and not on YouTube okay so here we go this is the Shadowlands that you can win and this is the House of Shadow that's a Lenormand deck now I've, I'm also using my new Lenormand and that's the Mirror Truth then I'm using the Crystal uh, Oracle Spirit deck then the White Witches deck and the Postcard from Spirit so it's a, an extensive reading so if you can't watch it all at once then stop it and come back later and as you are cancer this is your sign um, that is the chariot the chariot represents cancer and I love these cards go and have a look at the review on these cards to see all of them especially if you're thinking of getting a tattoo these cards are really beautiful for tattoos as well that's a 22 card the major arcana okay so cancer let's begin with your reading first of all on Monday the 25th you start off with the Queen of Cups now the Queen of Cups represents um, Scorpio okay so you might be meeting a lady that is a Scorpio but don't exclude Cancer or P 
Pisces. It could be a water sign, but prominently she represents Scorpio. So you might make a new friend, or you might have a friend that's a Scorpio, and it could be a man uh, with a, a feminine uh, side to him, because we've got masculine and feminine within us. So it might be a nurturing, caring, passionate, loving man. That is what the Queen represents. But also the feminine side, that caring side, that mothering side. Okay, and this is a beautiful deck because she enjoys her cup of coffee and music. So you might be listening to music with a Scorpio on Monday. You might be taking time out. Love it, I love it. And then you have the clarification card. This lady might actually say, wow, you're ambitious. Or if you've moved home and into a high rise, oh, I love your place, let's relax. <laughs> I can just see it in front of me. You've got 19 here, so that is a 10. So that's an ending, a new beginning, a new beginning of fun. Okay, now the tower in Lenaman means ambition. So, and uh, it also means, don't forget the people around you. Be caring, be nurturing uh, towards the people that support you whilst you're climbing the ladder. Okay? It's okay to be ambitious, but don't forget the people, the friends, family around you. Because if you reach the top, then it can be very lonely if they fall away. Okay? So be caring, be nurturing towards your family and friends. And the tower in the Lenamon is built on proper foundations, but I still keep it in the back of my mind that uh, unexpected the tarot, uh, the tower in the tarot. Okay, unexpected changes, new beginnings. On Wednesday, you have the Eight of Wands. Ooh, she's doing her magic. <coughs> Excuse me. And you've got the eight, so you might be in your power on Wednesday. That's also the house of money and power. So there might be money coming back to you. You might be hearing about money because the eight of wands is messages and through cyber. Okay, you can see the arrows or the broomsticks flying. So that could be telephone, text message or email. You might get a tax return, you might get a rise. Things are happening all at once. Boom, 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 boom. It's like, it doesn't rain, it um, it pours. That's it. That's the right English. And look at the cat. He's even got a wand as well. <laughs> I love it, I love it. It's so quirky, this deck. Or you might be traveling, going on holiday to a warm country, because you've got the sun underneath. And that's 31, 4, proper foundations, productivity. The sun means that you're in the spotlight. You are being recognized. Perhaps a Leo is interested in you. Okay. Something is also being illuminated. You might need more information or do more research with regarding uh, to a situation or a question that you have. New beginnings, moving home, going on holiday, going up a next level in a relationship or at work, promotion. Like I said, you might be getting a promotion, you might be hearing, you might be getting more money. Who knows? Good things, a birth, a birth of a child, a birth of a project. At the end of the week, Cancer, you have the Four of ro uh, Swords. It's advised to take time out, okay? Take it easy, meditate, and or contemplate, but evaluate the situation. Perhaps you've got the answer through news, okay? <coughs> you've done the research, and uh, you're getting your answer on Wednesday. It, and now you can relax, but think about it. Now you've got the ancestors, 
and the ancestors means legacy. Perhaps you might want to leave a legacy behind, um, or um, uh, you might get some news about uh, an ancestor. You might have a question, where did I come from, where did we originate, and you might be following the family tree and doing that, you might be studying that and researching it. So you will be getting, uh, and it will bring you back into balance, because you've got a six. Okay, that is lovely. Like I said, you might want to leave a legacy. So you're contemplating perhaps on what you want to leave behind. And we uh, to put your stamp on something. Perhaps you might want to write a book about your experiences, or you might want to uh, write a song, or make a diary, so that your children know what it is like to be uh, in a situation like the COVID-19, how to be, uh, how to go through lockdown. Perhaps you might want to do that, or make a children's book and get children's uh, points of view and publish it. That could be something to consider. Now, at the weekend, you have the Six of Cups. So, the Six of Cups um, means that you might be contemplating about the past. And you might want to make the future better. But somebody could be coming back from the past and bringing you a present. You might even have a small tea party. This deck is make me chuckle all through the readings. Sorry about that if it irritates you. But somebody's coming back from the past and might be bringing you a gift. Perhaps you are stuck in the past and need answers. Okay, and they can give you the answers and tell you about uh, where you come from and what the family history is. Who knows? Well, you've got the birds, so again, news. But also, in this card I see a little more. You might feel stuck, or somebody might have felt stuck. And that could be in the past. And you might be talking about that with that person that's coming back. They felt stuck, and they left. They flew the nest. Okay. So somebody might have flown the coop, or left the group. This could be a friend that left the, the circle of friends because or you might have left the circle of friends because you outgrow them and they're wondering how you are so they might be coming to visit you see how you are and what you're doing be careful of gossip though okay I like the way this bird's got this great big pair of shoes on skinny legs I love this And we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. That could be coming back from the past. They might even offer you the hand in marriage or offer you a job. It could be passion, could be love. Okay. He's a gentle, caring, nurturing person. That's the overall energy this week and you have the book you will gain knowledge with all this news coming your way or you might study a little bit the book means secrets secrets will come out definitely in this deck the book is open and he's reading it so news will come to you through a person or through an email or a telephone call you'll learn something you might hear something that could be gossip so be careful don't trust it do your research okay cancer make sure it's true ah you might have to study about that but it means secrets but secrets could be coming out now we're going to the Lenamon card from the new deck and again you've got the sun so both Lenamon decks 
Oracle and Monica Provinsky. Provinsky says it's an Oracle deck, but I love it. It's a Nenemon deck. Okay, an extended deck. The Sun, Birth, Birth of a Child, Hearing of a Birth, uh, Birth of a Project, Holiday, Moving Home, New Beginnings, You're in the Spotlight. Again, 31, Stability. But it is also the Ace of Diamonds. The Ace of Diamonds. So it could be new work or a new hobby. And now we're going to the card of the Crystal Spirit. Okay. And you can see there is a face in the middle. And I think this has got to do with the heart because it's green and pink. Okay. So um, that's Watermelon Tourmaline. Tourmaline. Number 58. Okay. 8 and 5 is 13. So you might be making more friends. Okay. Or friends are important. Because number 13 in the I Ching is friendship and fellowship. The meaning of the watermelon tourmaline is seeing perfection in the moment, basking in the bliss of just being, natural joy and peaceful heart, like I said, the heart chakras, the angelic heart chakras, because that's green, and green is Haniel, and a pink is Shamuel. Now basking, here he's basking, and it's in the line of the sun. So, I think you might be going on holiday, or basking in the sun at home. Watermelon Tourmaline Spirit comes bringing the message that the Divine orders, Order supports you. Sorry, that the Divine Order supports you in experiencing your bliss. Notice the perfection in this moment that unbreakable connection to the univer universal co um, consciousness within you. So go within you. Meditate. Meditate. Contemplate. Okay? And then you can s get your answers. And actually Pisces had the, the sort of same message. Go within. And I had a chuckle because it ET came, extraterrestrial um, came up, ET go phone home. So again, you've got the tower, so make sure you phone home and stay connected with family and friends. You've got more or less the same message as Pisces there. Okay, now you can download this, uh, this picture if you haven't got the stone and you can use it in your meditation or in your visionary board to bring that peace to the mind and heart to open your heart okay and go to Pinterest and then type in watermelon tourmaline okay and then you can download it I've seen them on Pinterest now <coughs> you've got the high priestess and yes, she does go within. She's got all the knowledge. And she placed the cards close to her chest. So if you do get information or gossip, then play your cards close to your chest. Keep the secret until you know the answer. And then decide whether you want everybody to know or not. Okay. So she's spiritual. You might be highly sensitive or emotional at the moment. Listen to your intuition. Okay, and the high priestess is the the goddess or represents the moon goddess, so there could be a Pisces involved, and they are also very the most spiritual out of the water signs. Okay, I'm going to read you the poem or the expression of the booklet. It's very short. The high priestess, Sentius. From nothing many things arise. First mother born to lonely vocation, black as pitch and endless hole, that interferes into coiling spiral souls, contracting all through interaction, talking with each other. You will have interaction because you will get news. You will talk 
you'll get to hear something talking like the birds. Interaction, enter the perimeter. Shape is must as pressure influences aggregating the familiar. There are no strangers in these lands. Omega carries Alpha buried in her hands. And buried in her hands. That is where, like the womb and the hearts. Again, the heart is signified. But this, to me, looks like the um, fallobial tubes. And this is the birthing canal and the uterus. And you've got the light and the dark side. So, yes, something is going to new beginning. Listen, if you want to get pregnant, then this is the time. The High Priestess is saying, listen to your feelings, your intuition. There might be something you might hear of a birth if you can't get pregnant because you're too mature. You might become a grandmother or an aunt. And then the last card we have is the postcard from Spirit with love. Dearest Cancer, as you think, so will you experience life. Thoughts are the powerful, and they need minding. Let the unruly, chaotic ones settle down, so they serve you, or get released instead of wreaking havoc. These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as the truth. Hidden secrets. There you go. Yet the real truth is that essentially all is well. Of course you have thoughts that are positive, strong, organized, accepting, creative, open, and so on. Those are the ones we want you to keep thinking and they have a less frantic quality. They are stimulating in a good way and don't get away from you. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them. Love yourself and then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you so much. That is from your ancestors or the angels. That is the message. Love yourself. And then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you think loving you so much. Perhaps you might be taking a, a screenshot now. And there you go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. And I hope you will give us the thumbs up and share with family and friends. Have a look at the reviews because there is a competition uh, coming up and you will find out if you go to the website what uh, the competition will be like and what it's about. Okay, so have a beautiful week and take care. Stay safe. Love you all.